welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Olua Kemi Adesola. If you're seeing this cute face of mine, please click on that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. Thank you, thank you for coming back. So today I am going to be I'm going to be discussing something that has been going on for a while now. I have been feeling that way for a long while actually I've been feeling that way then I wanted to discuss it with you guys but I did not find the perfect way to articulate it like to put my words properly because I did not want to sound too personal and um, I felt like uh, I needed to make more research on that topic to see if it was actually a thing then fortunately for me I came on YouTube a few days ago and one of my favorite favorite youtubers in the whole world Brainy Lee she talked about the same thing then like a few minutes later, I went on Instagram and I saw somebody's story relating to this same thing I have been feeling. And personally, I have been in that kind of situation before. So I could totally relate to what Brenny Lee was talking about. You know, it was like I could feel it. I could understand it perfectly. So um, I'm talking about none other thing than why do we date people that hate us? Why do we marry people that hate us? I'm saying people because I do not want to be biased. I do not want to say why do women marry men that hate them or why do uh, men marry women that hate them. Let me just say people. So I'm referring to both genders. I'm referring to all genders in this case so i'm going to be reading you guys a story the one i found on instagram i'm going to be reading it to you then i'll share, share some of my own experiences things that i've experienced myself or my friends i'm going to be sharing it with you guys so uh, i'll try and find a way to fix the story on the screen so you guys can also read I'll try to read through it fast so I do not waste any of your time. I married my husband in 2018. I didn't even know he bought a landed property while we were making wedding arrangements. Okay. <laughs> he was always complaining he doesn't have much to spend. Though my family members later sponsor sponsored my white wedding just to support us. He bought a land during this process and gave the documents to his mom. He was going abroad after the wedding to seek for greener pastures. It was the day he was traveling I found out he bought a land. Our pastor came to pray for him at home. After prayers, pastor said, I saw you bought a land on all, love. Now so this guy began confess. He told me he bought a land. He said he told me he bought a land, but I wasn't listening, which is a big lie. Asking, I asked him why he gave his mom the documents then he lied to me. He traveled that day while I was heavily pregnant then. I feel so bitter whenever I think about this. Ever since he traveled, he only sends money for baby upkeep. He doesn't care how I feed or clothe myself, but he sends money to his family, steady. I told him I, need, I needed to do a business. He told me to go and tell my family to help me with that. He started saying his dad met his mom doing a business of our own before he married her. We haven't spoken for like a month now. I just told him to avoid me. But he still sends baby money upkeep though. The other time our <laughs> the other time our rent expired, he was telling me his brothers asked him for money too. That they told him I should go and meet my family to help pay our rent. I really don't understand all this. The other day during his dad's burial, my family bought one cow to support them. We got to the burial. My family wasn't given food or drinks. I told my husband before then to give me money to plan and cook. He said no, that he already made plans. No food, nothing. My family left in annoyance. I am so frustrated right now. I am just home with my baby from morning till night during, doing nothing. I even tried going into Kitty's shoes business with some little money I could raise on my own. I ended up spending the money on our baby. Ever since he knew I started the business, if I asked him for money on a pressing need for the baby, he would tell me 
but I am doing a business. I should use my own money. When I saw this on the internet, I didn't exactly know how to feel because I was too angry. Because what exactly is going on? And then after this whole write-up, she went ahead to ask that what should she do in this kind of situation. Sis, it is so obvious that this man does not care about you and the family they are in on it like it's like a whole plan he definitely has another reason he married you but for sure it's not because of love like it is so obvious first off why is your family the one sponsoring your wedding he is the one that wanted to marry you <laughs> i mean he came to ask you out asked for your hand in marriage from your family so why should your own family be the one to sponsor the wedding I, I i don't get that part i think that is like the foundation of this whole problem if he's man enough and for your wedding you didn't have to do so much you could have managed on the little money he has and if he couldn't sponsor the wedding but could buy a land he definitely just didn't want to do the wedding that's my take on that and then he bought a land and gave the documents to his mother like i said earlier the whole family they are in on this so the bottom line is that this man hates you this man hates you and it is so obvious he does not care about you the house you're living with his child the rent expired and you asked him for it and he was telling you that his brothers asked him for money when you're married you should be your husband's first priority his first responsibility everything should go towards you especially when you have a child for him but for him to be telling you for him to be telling the woman that she should go and ask a parent for the rent i mean i just feel like sis is married to herself and whatever the guy is doing for the child is because he's his child he, he loves his child obviously and maybe not even love like that just a surface kind of love and he wants to be a little bit responsible for his child but why does he not want to be responsible for you now she started a business and the whole thing folded up already because she keeps spending both the profits the initial revenue that she used to start the profit she's making on the things she's selling she keeps spending everything towards taking care of the house taking care of herself of course the business is going to fold up now this man refused to take responsibility for her now it now reminded me of when i was in a relationship with a certain somebody and when um he was asking me out you know it was so sweet i was like okay i have found the bone of my bone ah but when we actually got into the relationship so many things changed now when i got out, well when i got out of that relationship i realized that this guy actually hates me it's not that he dislikes me he hates me because um when you're in a relationship with somebody i believe you should help each other grow you should be a helpmate to each other but i sat down and thought about it this guy no it, it just it just wasn't was it, it just wasn't it for me you know there are times that he would watch me lift everything myself and I'd, I, I'd even ask him for help like yo can you help me he would literally just wave it off and just do his own thing he would watch me lift everything you know there was a time i was writing exams and he wouldn't ask me how my exam went until i accused him like babe you didn't even ask me how was the exam i wrote then he would go oh how was your exam i'm like you knew i was writing an exam you knew i wrote an exam earlier today and you're just talking to me like Then I sat down and I realized that this guy doesn't like me. Probably he has a need for me or there is a, a certain purpose that I serve for him. I just couldn't, I still cannot figure it out why he came to me to ask me out and asked to be in a serious and committed relationship with me. Because this is a guy that 
he has never actually showed that he cares about me when you're in a relationship with somebody you should find out the things that the person likes i am sure that this guy cannot mention three things that i love doing he cannot because he has never you know he has never had conversation with me like oh your youtube channel what do you want to do with it what is your go for your youtube channel for this year okay school when you're done with school what are you going to do when you go back to nigeria what are your plans you know we have never actually had that kind of conversation he doesn't ask me what i like doing what i enjoy doing i'm sure he doesn't even know the kind of music that i like you know this guy doesn't even enjoy hanging out with me he'd rather hang out with his friends you know instead of us spending time together he'd rather be on his phone so i sat down and i asked myself what exactly am i doing in this relationship and you know here i am i'm always you know thinking of ideas for his business what he can do to you know help his business grow always giving him ideas always helping him out doing and you know i wouldn't even be cooking for him and you know maybe he should just stay in the kitchen and be gisting with me or be talking with me or something he will never do that so from my own personal experience these are some of the few things that i noticed and made me realize that this guy hates me but what i couldn't figure out was uh why he came on to me why he asked me out and why um he was a good person or he was a sweet and caring person before i actually agreed to date him i still cannot figure that out i see so many people in relationships that oh they'll tell you as long as he provides for me he can do whatever i want i don't care as long as he goes out and he comes back home to me it is me he loves if he actually loves you he has no reason to go out there to meet other women i don't know who gave us who gave women especially that idea that um because he chose you means you're the one he loves no he might have chosen you because you were the person ready and available when he was he might have chosen you because you were the only person that you know that has an interest in him he might have chosen you because you were easy for him to get he might have chosen you because you're the one that allows his excesses. He might have chosen you because you're the only person that can cope with all of his bad habits. When a man loves you, he should be ready and willing to change his bad habits. You know, he, 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 you should see that he's trying. So even if he cannot completely change, because you, you can see that this person is trying, yeah, you would also be able to bend a little bit but somebody that tells you things like like accept me as i am that's how i am where i am from that's how we are nobody is ever anyhow change is something constant change is practically the only thing constant people are prone to change all the time so if a man cannot change for you if a woman cannot change for you maybe not completely but even a little bit if a man or a woman cannot do that for you that person literally does not love you love is love if it is confusing if you cannot um really place your hand on how exactly you feel then it's not it's not love love is never confusing love is never never love is straight and clear and open love is not is not blind i do not believe that love is blind really i do not believe that love is blind if it is love it is pure you're going to see it and when a man a man loves you you're going to see it through his action when a woman loves you you are going to see it through through her action it's not everybody that says i love you that actually loves you anybody can say they love you but yeah they just love you they're saying it that they love you but do they act like they love you they don't act like they love you anybody that loves you would not want to see you go through stress the person would want to help you the person will want to support you morally financially academically mentally physically the person will want to contribute something to your growth now i'm talking both male and female the person will definitely want to contribute to your growth the person will want to see you do better make better choices the person would want to grow with you 
the person will be there to correct you to help you make better choices you know that is what love is not and whoever loves you is going to put you first at least his first three priorities her first three priorities you are going to be one if you're not the first you'll be the second or the third you're going to see that the way this person treats you the person treats you like you are actually important you will see from the person's action that this person actually loves me not because he or she says it with words that he or she loves you but you can actually see it through that person's action when you're in pain the person would you know want to go through that phase with you when you're happy the person would definitely be there when you're sad the person wants to experience everything with you the person wants to live life actually with you when that person is having fun that fun is not going to be complete except you are there it is more fun when you are together so when someone starts giving you excuses like oh i'd rather anger with my friend you know you wouldn't like that kind of environment and you know you, you're just seeing that person all happy when he or she is doing his own things and you're not there it just doesn't make sense that isn't love love is not blind love is not confusing when you love somebody you want to change for them you know when we're single i know so many of us that will say oh i'll never do this for a man i'll never do this for a woman i'll never do this you know men will say things like i, I can't be watching a football match and my girlfriend would need to be with me and i'll abandon football because of her it is because he has actually not seen a a woman that he loves if he sees a woman that he loves what is football even if she wants to watch cartoon he'll stay with her and they'll watch it together if a woman is saying oh i can never cook for a man this that by the time she meets a man that she actually loves trust me she will cook even when the man did not ask anyways i didn't want this video to be a very very long one so um if you have if you have any of these experiences maybe you have dated somebody that um hates you or you have dated somebody you hate hate it please share your story with me in the comment section i'd like to hear from you guys thank you for watching my video and if you're in a relationship with someone that you hate or hate you please just stop punishing them and end that relationship immediately because um the earlier you end the relationship the earlier you will meet somebody that is actually for you so don't put yourself in any kind of awkward situation so guys that's all for today thank you for watching this video share it with all of your friends do not forget to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in my next one bye guys